Hi everyone, it's Eileen from Nether's Crafty Idea. I've been having a bit of a sort through and I have just loads and loads of bits of um, scrapbooking paper. So I just thought I'll sit down and put the camera on and work through it and try and make some ephemera out of all these bits because I just have tons and tons. So um, there's no actual plan for this video, I'm just going to make whatever comes to mind. Some of it will just probably end up to be tags, others I might make into little bits of ephemera. That's quite a nice bit, I like that. I wonder if that will be a nice folded journal card. Well, let's move some of this out of the way and then we can see what we're working with. So I just thought I'd pop the, the camera on because I kind of like, you know, crafting along with you. I'm going to round the edges on this one. Let's give it a nice big round edge. I kind of like these folded um, journal cards and this paper quite lends itself to, I mean, to being written in that you wouldn't have to cover that with anything. It'll write, you can write in that no problem. And there we go, let's move those bits away. I like that, that's quite nice. Let's get a little bit of ink on it because I want to see what it looks like with a little bit of distressing ink. Yeah, so I just decided to have a sort through of, um, well, I've got different tubs and boxes of different things. And the one with all my scraps of scrapbook paper was kind of overflowing. <laughs> so I've picked out the best bits. Um, and I thought I'll just see what we can get out of them because uh, you never know. You never know. You can, um, you can often make things that you wouldn't have thought of. <laughs> when you just sit down without a plan. I like the idea of just um, just winging it. So it's, um, yeah, it's a kind of a winging it video. <laughs> so let's see what we create. So grab all your scrapbook scraps and, um, and come and craft along with me. And we'll see what we come up with. Now, I like that. Oh, I didn't. Yes, I did. Okay. I want something on the front. Now, I do have some bits and pieces handy. And these are just... Um, I got some adverts out of an old book and some little bits of free printouts from... That's quite nice, isn't it? From the internet. You can find a lot of these on Pinterest. Um, and you know the, a, a lot of them are royalty free so you can just um, download them, print them out and and then just use them. I've lost my scissors. Where have I lost my scissors? There they are. Sometimes this edge cutter is a little bit temperamental. Corner cutter I should say. <laughs> Maybe I should give it a name and then it might be happier. Let's call you Bitsy. Come on, Bitsy, get this cut out. No? Okay. There we go. Probably needs sharpening. <laughs> I think everything I've got just needs sharpening. <laughs> I think when you craft a lot you forget that your tools go a bit um, <laughs> a little bit dull sometimes and they need a good sharpen, a little bit of TLC. I think what I might do, just to give this a bit more of a distressed look, and then if you wrinkle it up and then just rub over the top of the, the ridges from where it's wrinkled it gives it a much better distressed look and then it'll straighten out once I've got the glue on it and you'll be able to see the effect much better let's get some glue stick I think um, I'm definitely in an ephemera creating mood at the minute <laughs> I've got a couple of journals that I've um, I've got printed out ready to start and a couple that I've got under underwear, but I'm more in the ephemera making mood than anything else. <laughs> I 
there we go and you can just see where it gives you those nice distress lines and I like that I kind of like that a lot it looks good yep so we've got ourselves a nice little double journaling card so there's one piece made let's see what else do we have in here I kind of like both sides of that it's not my general colours but I do and you know that might just make just a nice little rounded journaling card it's just a perfect size to pop into a pocket and because it's got birds on we'll give it a bird right let's just get the distressing ink sometimes you know ephemera doesn't have to be complicated sometimes it can be pretty simple as just rounding the corners on a piece of card and giving it an embellishment and that can be more than enough i do like this side but i think i will give it a right inside um but what i think i'll do is i'll leave some of the pattern showing let's see what do we have to hand what do we have to hand we do have some we have a piece of packaging paper left so let's just give this a torn edge that's better stay somewhat straight oh no that's not straight at all <laughs> that's okay that's okay <laughs> there we are see now that'll just give it a nice writing space and you still get to see a little bit of the pattern around the edge i will give it just a tiny little bit of ink I think I need a new ink pad. You know where it is though? I was on um, a few different sites yesterday trying to find the vintage photo and I don't know if it's because of the lockdown with the pandemic and everybody is now at home crafting <laughs> or if it's just a general um, shortage but I can't get vintage photo anywhere. I have ordered a little one, a mini one, um, but I don't think that'll last me long <laughs> I've tried to get the refill ink I couldn't even get the refill ink so yeah I might have to pop well I, I was gonna I was just about to say I might have to pop through to Hobbycraft but of course Hobbycraft's not open because we're in a, a, a national lockdown so right now that's got its writing space on the back and it's got these lovely birds on the front so do I have some birds let me just find my ephemera with the birds i think it's this one mm, birdie birdies there we go okay now oh look at him isn't he gorgeous i mean far too big for that but lovely um how about you again lovely but too big um hum 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 don't think you're the right colours you're too big actually now we could put that on and that could go in our Easter journals which I'm already thinking about so yeah let's do that it's got the birds behind it and then the nice nest okay that'll do lovely right I'm just going to trim a little bit of this white off there we go and let's get some distressing ink on it it always helps when you've got these pieces you know these ready cut pieces um, just to take off the white with the distressing ink it just makes it just disappear into the background there we go lovely right going off on and there we go 
and I'm, I know that I could maybe do like a little collage style thing but like I said sometimes I just like to keep it simple so there's another piece we've made let's see let's have a look at one of these bigger pieces now I don't like the colour on the back of that one but that might be quite nice no I don't like the colour of the back of that one let's see if I've got another piece that's got a nice backing That's quite tall, but I like both sides. So we'll work with this. Now, I'm just going to measure this out. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little fold out pocket. I need a pencil and I've lost my pencil. <laughs> Where on earth have I put my pencil? I found it, I found it. I've got it. Don't panic. <laughs> now, obviously, these are 12 by 12s which is 30 centimetres by 30 centimetres. So if I go, which is slightly bigger, if I go to the 10 and the 20, that should work out fine. Okay, now, oops a daisy. I could easily do this on the scoreboard and it would be just so much easier. <laughs> Right. I'm just going to double check this because I've got a feeling this is going to be slightly out. I want to score it at that, that joint. Okay. This isn't your normal way of measuring things on a scoreboard, I am aware. <laughs> but I want to make sure that this is going to fit nice. Okay. about right it's a little tiny skewy I can live with that there we go that's better right let's put this away <laughs> now what I want is to cut this so let's just get I've got my little cutter that should work okay and it doesn't have to be a specific a specific distance I just want it from that top corner there's another nice little scrap okay now that's going to be the pocket and that's going to be stuck onto the page and then that's going to fold out like that and what I think I'll do is I'll put a little divot in this side and that can be a pocket on the page too about right there we go so that's going to sit on the page imagine this is our journal page that's going to sit on the page as a pocket and then that's going to be a pocket that's going to just open up then you've got all this lovely journaling space yeah I like that okay let's get some distress ink on it I'm going to have to be better about putting the lids on my glues Right, let's get you distressed. Yeah, so I just thought, you know, sometimes <laughs> you get stuck in crafting <clears throat> and you, um, you end up just craft, 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 craft and you don't realise that all of your resource buckets <laughs> are filling up um with scraps and with pieces and with bits and bobs and yeah so I thought I need to have a bit of a sort out because I've just got tons and tons of bits of card and paper and <laughs> it all needs sorting out so that's what I'm I'm in the middle of doing I'm trying to um to go through all my fabrics and ribbons as well because I've got like five jars on the go now <laughs> five jars 
of um, bits of fabric and bits of ribbon and I am making snippets like there's no tomorrow but I'm just not keeping up with it so <laughs> now I'm um, I'm in oh I didn't need to do that side did I I know you were telling me but <laughs> I know it's I know that it's been distressed <laughs> But yeah, um, I needed to sort it all out and the fabrics especially because I, I, I need to make some more fabric um, flips. And now that I've got my new sewing machine, I wanted to do a few with the embroidery stitches on the sewing machine. Um, uh, as well as some of the hand sewn ones. So I thought that might be a nice thing to do, to sit and make those. So yeah, that's that's going to be in a future video. <laughs> I'm going to sit and put all my fabrics together. So, but the, the worst one was my bucket of um, scrapbook card. I mean, I've only pulled out like not even half of what's in there because there's tons of stuff in there. And um, well, at least I'm going to make a dent, a dent in it. Now, I could sew around that if I wanted to, but you know, I'm just going to glue it because I just like the idea of gluing it and then it's done. And then we can make a nice tag to go in it. Come on, glue. Right. I knew that was going to squeeze out there. There we go. There we are. And now we've got a nice flip out, two, two pocket go. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Let's find a piece of paper that's going to match it so we can make a tag <laughs> for our you know what. <laughs> oh my word, yes, I know. <laughs> I've been going crazy for a long time it's nothing new <laughs> okay there's a couple of pieces here that's a bit dark that's the wrong tones let's have a look at the rest of this stuff that'll make a nice little snippet one that's actually a piece of that paper I'll use that to make a little card out of oh and that make just a nice simple journal card yep there we go Okay, how about that? It's not quite big enough, but we'll, we'll keep it out. It's a contestant. Some of these papers are just not what I would call my favourite, um, what should we say, um, aesthetic, but they are quite nice. Now that might work. We'll cover the back up. That's quite nice. Okay. Actually, we will need two two pockets, won't we? Uh, two tags for, for the two pockets. So let's have a look at the contestants. It's like a little game show. <laughs> These are just ideas, so I'll put them to the side now. I like that one because I like the backing as well. It's in the right tone family. And it would look quite nice sitting there. Okay, so you could be our tag. Let's have a look at you. It's kind of in the same tone family. Maybe it might be better as this one. That one's too big. Okay, so... I want to cut this one down just a, a touch because if it's going to go in there I want it to be a little bit smaller so let's get the, the cutter and just trim a slight bit off the edge just a slight bit there we go I want to back that one that's better 
Right. And then this one, I can't decide which side I like. That gives it a bit of a... I don't like that um, distressed bit. So how about... Oh, yes. Because then this pattern sort of mirrors this pattern. Yeah, I'm liking that. This is the one that we're going to stick with. So let's um, cut it into a tag shape. And I think I will sew around this. But I'm going to do that off camera. Because I'm going to probably, by the time I'm finished with all this, I'm probably going to have a ton of stuff to sew around. So I'll do them all together. Let's put that to the side. How does that fit in? Yeah, quite happily. I don't think I want to um, decorate these because I think I might wait until I see what journal they're going to go in because then I can decorate the tag and this and then this as well when you know when I decide which journal it's going into so I think I'll leave this one undecorated but I will distress it oh and I need to back that so let's get that back first right let's tidy up a bit here Eileen you're getting a mess <laughs> there we go <laughs> that's a bit better Otherwise, I'm just not going to like it. <laughs> it's just going to be a big mess. Did I have enough of that paper left? Oh, just say, I think. That's that's a happy coincidence. And then, obviously, I will sew around it. I do like that pattern. It's just it's not going to um, sit with, right with the colour scheme I've got going on for this doodaddy. Let's call it a flip out pocket. Flip out double pocket. There we go. Right, which is the shiny side? We want it on the shiny side. Yeah, we'll call it, this is what it's called. It's called a flip out double pocket. <laughs> there we go. It's got a name now. <laughs> right, let's just quickly trim around this. Didn't quite get the glue on, but it's okay because it's going to get sewn round. Sometimes I like days where I can just sit and mess about and not have a plan. Because sometimes I think I'm, I've, uh, I spend that much time with a plan, especially because, you know, the crafting has to have a direction and I've got the YouTube as well which has to have a direction that sometimes it's nice just to sit down put the camera on and just just go with the flow <laughs> drop me a comment and tell me if you like the go with the flow videos or if you prefer it to be a bit more structured because I kind of like both I am at heart an organized person I know it doesn't come across very well because <laughs> I can never find anything but when it comes to like projects I'm very organized within a project and then um, but I do sometimes just like flying by the seat of my pants and I think I do that more often than I should <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> but tell, tell me what you prefer I like doing craft alongs right okay so we've got the tuck for that and that's going to sit on the page that's going to flip out and then we've got we need to quickly distress this because I've distressed everything else I can't not distress this I think I'm going to leave that because I think you could still write across the top of that possibly We'll decide when we put it in a journal whether I'm going to cover it or not. This doesn't need a great deal of distressing ink because it's not going to show up that well anyway because of the colour. Um, but yeah, it just finishes off that edge and 
I'm not going to bother distressing that until I've decided what I'm going to do with it. So there we go. Right, there's another piece done. Now, I just want to quickly make these into journal cards and tags because I just think that they're going to look great as they are with a little bit of decoration on the front. Okay, this one I'm not going to do anything to other than distress it because I think that butterfly speaks for itself. And I think anything I put over the top is going to be lost and the back doesn't even need covering because that's a perfect writing space. So that's going to be one of those lovely simple tags. I might saw around it again, but yeah, that's going to be a lovely simple tag. And then this one I think I'll make into a proper tag. And this one's got a different backing for some reason. Must have been the same pattern in a different book. Um, and that's just plain, so we can get away with that. So let's get them distressed. Oh, I forgot to cut the, the tag. There we go. Right. Again, the, the distressing ink's not showing up greatly on it, so I'm just taking off that white edge, but it will show up on the back. There we go, that's better. It's a nice colour and I was thinking about maybe doing a, um, a Valentine's Day journal, but I've got that much in the go, in the works, and I do want to do a couple of Easter journals. That I don't think that I'll have time for a Valentine's journal. Um, so yeah, maybe we will have to leave it this year. Maybe just try again next year. <laughs> I'll say that and you know I won't because I'll have too much on the go again. <laughs> oh dear me. <laughs> right. Yeah, this one's just going to be one of those lovely little simple journal cards is just going to sit in a nice journal and speak for itself. Sometimes simple is the best. I don't know if you can hear that but the birds are on the roof again and I think they're doing tap dance lessons <laughs> because they're proper going for it. <laughs> yeah yeah, they're doing tap dance lessons. Right, that one I'm going to leave plain. I will sew around it, but I'm going to leave that plain. Now let's see what we can do with these. Oh, let's see what we've got in our little book of um, treasures. I've got a lot of butterflies and I kind of like the idea of using a butterfly, but I want one that's going to match and that's going to look good. Oh, don't lose your antennae. I kind of like that one actually and because it's you know it's quite a, a a light background it really stands out I like that a lot okay so what can we do for you no I'm not um, feeling the butterflies for that one hear them I hope you can hear that they're having a good old go up there maybe a bird uh, or maybe oh that would be nice if it was the other way wouldn't it let's have a look at this oh that looks nice again it's just too wide isn't it hmm hum 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 what about this that would be nice and then it could be in a spring journal but it needs a backing behind that maybe we could use let's see what do i have to hand um what do i have to hand not a lot at the minute <laughs> i know what i've got somewhere if i can just find it uh, no, not that one. How about this one? We'll have a little bit of German. There we 
we go. I love this um, typeface that they used to use in old German books. It's just so pretty. And um, and you just can't get it in modern books. It's just they don't do that kind of typeface. It's all... Oh, that's nice. I like that. Yeah. Do I want some behind our butterfly? Maybe just a bit, not fully covering it. There we go. Let's get these pieces put aside. And then we could have, if we have that kind of in the corner, and the butterfly dead in the middle. Yes, I like that. Okay, that's going to work. Cool. Right, let's get everything distressed, and then we can get it all stuck down. And then we can get a few more things made, hopefully. Okay. I just, I don't want to break the antennae off. It's already hanging off. <laughs> I can't do butterflies without antennae on. They just don't look right if they don't have their antennae sticking on. Yeah, that's just me. It would be so much simpler if I wasn't bothered by that. <laughs> I'd like to scrunch this one up the way I did with the other one, but I just, I don't think that it's, it's quite old paper. I don't think that it would stand for it. So we'll just, um, we'll treat it a bit more gently. And uh, and it doesn't matter if I don't have all the distressed lines on it. It looks pretty anyway. So we want that up in the corner. Kind of like that. Okay. And then we want our lovely butterfly. Now I'm going to have to be careful because that antennae is about to fall off. I don't want to rip it off with the glue. <laughs> Nearly lost it. There we go, perfect. Very gently press that down. Yeah, I like that. That's really sweet. And again, I probably will end up sewing round it. Right, let's get this one put together. If you're wondering what this is that I'm using, this is a thread sorter. I got it um, free with a cross stitch magazine because I, I used to do quite a lot of cross stitch. I still do now and then. And this is, you would put your threads on here with the numbers on. Not that I ever did any of that because I just used to pick up whatever colour thought, you know, that I thought matched. <laughs> but I guess if you're working on one of those bigger projects, they come in handy. But they're really good at smoothing down papers. <laughs> Right, yes, I like that one. That's really sweet. And it's just a nice little one. That'll go into one of my Easter journals. I like that. Okay. Now, what else do we have? Let's see. <laughs> I have just tons. That's a nice. That's really nice. I wonder if I can make that into one of the double. I'm going to have a look through and see how many we've got. That's a Christmas one. That would make the nice double journal, um, journal pockets. I'm not so keen on that one. They'd make, make nice little tags. That one would be good. Is that two pieces? They'd be good. I 
Okay. Actually, that wood effect one might look quite nice, and that one. Right, let's work with those and see what we what we get. Because I'm aware time's ticking on. Let's quickly do these as tags. They don't have to be anything special. Oh, it's going the wrong way. That would make a nice little pocket though, wouldn't it? It would. So how about we just put a little divot in? And that'll be a nice little pocket that we can put in a journal. And because it's got the birds on, it'll match that other piece that we've made. What was it, the double? No, it was just the card, wasn't it? Oh, it's a pity, it's just slightly too big. But they'll go well together as a pair. Now this one could work as a pair as well with that other tag that we've just made. Um, I don't think I've got any more Easter bits because I've got some, I've got the packs that I've bought on Etsy and I've yet to sit down and cut them all out so I will leave this because there might be some ephemera from that and the back I'm going to just leave because that's a good enough writing space you know, you don't have to cover everything up sometimes it's fine the way it is so I'll just leave that and that can go with Where's that one we've just made? See, they're going to go well together. Maybe so I will put them. I'll wait until I've cut out the ephemera and then I can always um, put that together. Now that could go either way. I think it's going to be a tall, thin one, but that's fine. I kind of like that idea. Right, let's just get this folded. We'll work on these to all together right I want that edge on that side there we go that's a lovely paper isn't it I like that side too I think we'll go with that on the outside I love these little um, folded journal cards because I think they just add a nice little element of, you know, secret little journal spots. <laughs> I mean, you might not, you not want secret little journal spots, but I love them. I think they're great. This one, if I fold it this way, it's going to have a nice kind of, yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah, oh look at that, isn't that cute? And then which side do I want on the... That would be good for writing on, so let's put that on the inside. I love this, that you get to turn your little scraps into, um, into journal ephemera, because, you know, that's the whole point, isn't it? Right, where's my corner rounder? Name me your ephemera book, it's going to be full. <laughs> it's a never ending circle, isn't it? <laughs> I also want to use some of these smaller bits to make some franking paper, some franking card, I should say, um, because I quite enjoy making that. And I was got an idea for some ephemera with it, so. The smaller bits I'll keep for that and I think I'll put them in a separate pot. There you go, I've created another pot. I'm trying to get the pots down and I'm creating more. <laughs> Isn't it the curse of a crafter? <laughs> it's never ending. <laughs> oh dear me. So I don't know, I think I told you my golf story, didn't I? I think so. I think I did. Um, I, I was, when was I talking about it? I can't remember what video it was in. But anyway, yeah, so the ghost story, I saw the ghost. There's, there's a further story. <laughs> there are developments. <laughs> 
so the girls I work with, lovely girls, great, um, absolutely terrified now because I think there's a ghost and I was like I wouldn't have said anything if I thought you were going to get really scared. So we've got um, other colleagues who work upstairs from us and the way the building's set out there's kind of like a walkway bridge that goes from one side of the building to the other across the, the what would be the great hall, the, the, the atrium, the, the big dining room, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you can see who's walking across the bridge. It's, it's glass on both sides so it's like a corridor separate from the room. But um, yeah, you can see who's walking across. So one of the girls was telling us that <laughs> she was t she was closing up one night and um, she saw someone walking across the bridge. But she says it looked like a child. We don't have children where we work, and I was like, a child, really? Are you sure you just the perspective was wrong because of where you were standing? She went, no, it looked like children's legs. And when she'd gone to finish closing all, the, um, there was nobody else left in the building upstairs. There was only the people who were downstairs and nobody had been upstairs. <laughs> so she was like, OK, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got a little child ghost as well by the looks of it. <laughs> Oh, you know, it just it doesn't things like that don't bother me. Do they bother you? Is, have you ever had one of those like weird experiences? I mean, I'm not saying they're definitely ghosts, but people have certainly been seeing things that they couldn't explain. Um, I find it interesting. Um, I mean, I watch um, I watch ghost videos and things like that. I think they're, they're quite funny, and I like to to think that you can debunk most of them. Um, <clears throat> and you can I mean there's a lot of like logical explanations but I'm not 100% sure what to believe when it comes to that kind of stuff I just believe my own eyes <laughs> um, yeah so yeah it's been quite fun <laughs> we now have three people who don't want to lock up the building anymore <laughs> oh dear it's a nice building, I like it. I mean, it's cold, but that's just because the time of the year, I think everywhere's cold at the minute. Once you get the heating on, it's fine. <laughs> oh, we've got squirrels. We've got these lovely squirrels. Oops. Excuse me one second, there's something wrong. Sorry about that, my TV was doing something strange. <laughs> um, I have it on so that I can see when I'm off camera and that. And um, yeah, it had a little message on the front. <laughs> but it's sorted and I'm back. Um, I can't remember what I was saying now. Oh yes, we have squirrels. We, we've got these lovely squirrels and they come every um, day and um, we've got this big um, wall length um, window in the room where, where we sit most of the time where we work and um, there's a big garden outside something we've never had before which is great and um, yeah, the, the squirrels come round looking for food and we, we were going to, originally we were going to take nuts in for them, but we've been told or we've, we've found out from research it's not a good idea to feed them because um, they get used to the food and then they stop foraging and if you're no longer there, which does sometimes happen, especially during lockdowns, you know, it can be very detrimental to them because they'll spend the time and the energy to come looking for the food that you're going to give them that's not there so we've decided not to feed them but it's good anyway because we um we get to see them coming looking for food anyway in the garden <laughs> it's just they're just so cute the way they move i just absolutely adore it i love the way they move um yeah they're such fun little creatures they are and um and the magpies, we've got loads of magpies as well. Now, I think I've told you before, I love the COVID family. You know, crows and ravens and magpies. I just, I adore them. 
I think I might cover the inside of that because I don't like that wood effect. So I'm going to leave that. This one needs doing on the inside. Um, but these magpies do not like the squirrels coming around. Obviously, you know, they're competing for food. <laughs> and, um, when the squirrels jump in the garden, one of the magpies will, will land near it. And then every time the squirrel stops to look for food, the magpie will go and try and peck it. And then when the squirrel runs away or tries to get away from it, the, the other magpies will die for me. It's like, it's like a full on military action. And <laughs> they just make me laugh so much watching them, the, the, the way they go on. Oh, they're just so funny. Now, I'm going to leave that the way it is. I kind of like that on there. What I might do when I decide which journal it goes into, I might put like a little word or something there. Um, but I'm going to leave that quite plain because I like the idea of, of that decoration there. So these two definitely need decorating. That needs decorating. And we need these ones covering on the inside. Now, I think what I'll do is I'll use some of that packing paper that I've got because I'm really enjoying this to cover the, um, the books with. The ephemera, sorry, not books. So, and then I can sew around it as well and that'll just make sure everything sticks nicely. So, let's just get a little bit of that on. Make sure I've got plenty in that centre crease because uh, it's going to want to jump out of there. There we go. Shiny side up, yeah. There we go. Stick that down. Where's my card? Really good hard press down. Make sure it's stuck in everywhere. Are there any places? Yes, there are. This corner just does not want to stick down. That should do it. Right. Is that going to be... No, it's going to be too big. Okay, not to worry. We'll use that for something else. Now, let's just get me bone fold up because I want to make sure this paper creases. There we go. Perfect. Right, now let's give this a trim round. I might have to open this up and cut it that way. Let's just get this top bit first. I think I must have gremlins because this camera does not want to record. If this shuts off um, quickly, then I'm sorry for the abrupt ending. Um, but for some reason, it just doesn't want to keep recording. What I might do is I might just finish back in this and then um, I might have to call the video here because it's just not wanting to work. <laughs> um, I need to diagnose the problem and I'll get back to you. And if you've enjoyed this, if you've enjoyed this video of me just cracking on just let me know and we can do another one together and um yeah we'll get through some more of the papers and see what other ephemera that we can come up with and what other little goodies we can make and um yeah and i will do the fabric one as well so that's that one covered anyway and then that's a nice like right in place i'm not gonna i'm not gonna even attempt to um decorate these ones now because yeah, it's just the camera's been a bit of a mare. Um, but we've got, so we've got all these ready to decorate, depending on what journal we put them in. And they're all very pretty, nice little double journal cards. Then we've got this one that's sort of already decorated. So we've got all of those journal cards made. And then we've got our nice little tags, one that we've decorated and one that we're leaving until we cut out our ephemera. Then we've got a nice pocket and a journal card um, and they're going to go into a nice um, spring journal 
so we've got them two and we've got this lovely butterfly one that i absolutely adore and then this one which is a butterfly one but it's very plain and simple then we've got our other journal card it's starting to curl a bit um that we did decorate and we've got that one done and then we've got our what do we call it our flip out double pocket that we can decorate when we decide what journal we're putting it in so we've got quite a bit made i'm quite happy with that it's you know i've still got tons of paper left but we'll run our way <laughs> we've made a bit of a dent okay <laughs> that's always good that's always good but yeah so we have we've made quite a bit so i hope you've enjoyed that i'm sorry for the problems with the camera um i will attempt to figure out what's going on with it and um yeah do something about it <laughs> but um i've enjoyed doing that crafting with you i've enjoyed sitting talking and i've enjoyed um getting rid of some of my scraps of paper and look at what we've created all of our lovely ephemera that we've managed to create so yeah that was fun so please do drop a like because it really does help the channel drop me a comment let me know um you know what kind of things um do you like to watch and did you enjoy this because if you did then we'll do another one because like we have all of this left <laughs> and more because that's not even all of what was in the, the tub <laughs> um and then yeah i will speak to you all later so stay safe everybody please do say stay safe stay healthy and happy crafting bye